So how is this useful? How do we interpret that 10? Well, let's tweak one of these vectors a little bit. Let's, instead of talking about the full vectors, instead talk about one of them being a, a normal vector. So the length of this vector is 2 squared plus 4 squared, square root of that. So that would be 4 plus 16 is 20. So the square root of 20 and the square root 20 is approximately 4.47. So when we take this vector, 2, 4, divided by 4.47, we get the vector 0 0.44.89. And then if we take the dot product of the other vector, so 3, 1, with this, so we take 3 times 0 0.44, which is equal to about 1.32, Add it to one to the 0.89, and we get about 2.21. And what does this 2.21 tell us? Well, if we multiply 2.21 by the orange normal vector, so the orange unit vector. So if we multiply 2.21 by the orange unit vector, what happens? If we make it 2.21 times longer, it turns out that that vector is what you get when you project the green vector onto the blue vector. So the dot product of a vector and a normal vector represents the length of that vector in the direction of the, the unit vector.